customer is the most important part of your business. Focus on the customer. Don't get lost in the operations. That's one thing I would say. Hello, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Engati interview series. I'm your host, Kimberly, and we are really glad to have all of you join us today. We have with us a very special guest. We have the co-founder and the CTO at Dev Nation with us. Welcome to the show, Hamd. We're really glad to have you join us today. I am really glad to be a part of this. The Engati interview series is a powerhouse of insights from industry experts and influencers from around the world. A platform that provides the latest news on AI, automation, and technologies that will help you grow your business. Come, be a part of our community. Learn, share, and grow with us. Looking forward to a super exciting interview, diving straight into it. We really want to know your thoughts and opinions on uh, exploring new technologies worldwide. And now that we have a major shift in digital transformation, what exactly are you seeing in the changes that are coming in through various companies and industries? And what are the new strategies that you would really suggest companies to look into? So given these new technology at one, and once is, I think a lot of things that I'm kind kind of forecasting is that companies are going to be more open to adopting and embracing these new tech, uh, especially with COVID, because COVID was one of the reasons that made people recognize that you know online work, remote work is a thing. So I think a lot of good work going there. Companies spending a lot of money on the resources internally as well to build these R and D departments. Uh, that will actually build the tech, the, the tech and uh, try to bring in new technologies. Uh, with regards to the strategy, I think uh, when new companies try to adopt a new technology, sometimes it's more about uh, like what they tend to do, especially smaller companies and startups. What they tend to do is that they find a great solution and try to fit it into the problem they're trying to solve. So that's something that I would not recommend uh, because if you if you start with that, just having a cool technology or a blockchain feature that is giving you a decentralized you know, uh, ledger or something does mm-hmm. not mean that it is useful for your core business or your, the value that you're providing to the customer. So I think if the companies or startups, they know what the customer really wants and then solve those problems by the use of these technologies, that's the way to go about it. Yeah. Do you have any rough steps in mind that you would really want to put forth in terms of, you know, looking out for the changes happening in companies and how can you actually fit these technologies into them? Okay, so fitting the technologies might not be the right word. Mm-hmm. It would be more more like that, you know, you have this problem by conventional methods and the traditional tech we have, we are unable to solve this. But as long as we understand the core problem that we're trying to solve and the, the value we're trying to provide, we can go and scout, okay, what kind of technologies can help in that? So it has to be, the focus should be on the problem solving. And then the technology comes and then solve the problem. For example, if it's data science uh, mm-hmm. and you have so many machine learning algorithms, uh, you have, you know, CNNs, you have regression, you have, you know, uh, ensemble models, gradient descent, all these kind of algorithms coming in. But it, it's very, very cool and it's very tempting to actually go and just build uh, the model and then try to see, okay, now where do I put this model in my uh, pipeline? And so that's not the way to go about it. Understand the pipeline, understand the problem, and then later on, you figure out uh, how it's going to work and, and what kind of models you're going to use. So that's basically it. Uh, other than that, what steps? Documentation, understanding the customer, user journey, Basically, uh, if you don't know what your customer is, how, how what, are, what are their habits, why do they use your product or service, and what are the problems and blockages that their roadblocks they're seeing in that. Knowing that, documenting that, uh, putting it out uh, and making a proper mind map with your team and going step by step, okay, if I do X, this, will, this is the value. If I do Y, this is the value. And then you build on a strategy. Okay, maybe this technology will fit this uh, issue and then that technology will use this issue. How do we integrate them into our core product to drive value for the customer? Correct. Very, very rightly said. Also, I think pers- uh, personally, I feel that 
um, market research is also one of a very very uh, vital concept that needs to be kept in mind in terms of implementing technologies right uh, what do you think could be a, a few pointers that businesses could keep in mind in terms of you know keeping market research in place i think the uh, i think this one one great quote uh, said by mark anderson which of a16c is a great vc uh, it's like thousand uh, uh, like thousand questions you know asking the thousand questions so when you have an idea you want to do marketing on it or if uh, marketing research on it and if you want to see anything uh, market research on it and to see anything how it's viable is it really you know are we really able to build a business out of it having all those thousand questions covered even before you start the idea on is a great way to actually not fail later down the road uh, and that's uh, basically how it happens why i'll give you an example if you don't have things covered up co covered up with you know all these different ideas what would, what could it be you know what's the core problem the customer has where are they now when are when does when do they have this problem how big is the customer market where is it located what are the blockages right now how do we penetrate into that market or what kind of product where they'll be uh, like to solve this problem how should it be structured how should it be built all of that so the, the example is if you don't have these thousand questions figured out like what happens if uh, the customers don't pay what happens if the customer doesn't come and doesn't get the value the churn, if they churn out all these things if you don't have this then you're going to go on and build on uh, not knowing things and then you'll take on you're going to take guesses you're going to yeah. build you're going to hire people yes. and then uh, those people will not have the clear set of you know uh, purpose or what to do in the company and then you have to let them go or you have to you know reduce the burn and everything and it's going to be a debacle basically what according to you is the biggest roadblock uh, all companies are facing right now across all industries focus focusing on one thing focusing on the customer not on the tech not on the shiny objects that's what right. i've seen whenever new tech comes in it becomes a shiny object oh let's put this in let's let's try to use that so never go for shiny objects focus on the key value the one or two values that you're providing your customer and focus on it and then build on it always keep that as the north star uh, these shiny objects today is uh, it's nfts tomorrow it will be uh, like, you know today's metaverse as well tomorrow it will be something yes. new yes. things will change these uh, and it doesn't mean that as things are coming in you have to have to you know put in put them in your into your company or business so that's one thing that i think breaks or you know makes a, a company a successful company very very rightfully said i mean if you have your goal set on customers fixing your roadmap to that is something that is very important thank you so much hum for sharing your valuable insights with us uh, subscribe to engati for uh, more content from thought leaders from around the globe thank you so much